Thank you, Danny, for the very kind introduction. Um, so I'm Zach Hammett. I'm one of the co-founders of Clay, Clay.Earth. There's multiple plays, so I'm not about Earth. Um, and we need a little bit of background because not everybody knows who we are. So I just wanted to start with what is Clay? Um, the way to think about Clay is it's like a second brain for people. So we help individuals and teams remember everyone they've ever met. Um, we let you do semantic search on all of those people. So you can search for like CMOs I've met before. We'll find exactly the person you're looking for. And then we have a curated uh, social media feed, basically, of updates from your network. So not like the LinkedIn feed. It's um, people mentioned in the news, um, high signal uh, LinkedIn updates. Um, somebody was on a podcast. You haven't talked to somebody in a while. We're trying to like filter through the noise to give you the actual people that you should be thinking about any given week. To do that, we needed to build basically Plaid for people. And so we have local native integrations with every communications and social media platform. So LinkedIn, iMessage, Facebook, Twitter, et cetera. Um, yes, Twitter doesn't have an API anymore. We do that. So if you're interested, sign up. Um, we then, we do that. We take every person from there and we run it through a data enrichment pipeline. And we do that for two reasons. One is to understand how you know someone. So uh, are they a former coworker? Do you work with them today? How do you know them? Who introduced you, et cetera? Um, the second thing we do is we pull from hundreds of different data sources. So for things like all the podcasts they were mentioned in, or were they in a YouTube video, or even down to, oh, they have a GitHub profile, but oh, these are the languages that they're committing on GitHub so that we know that that's a skill of theirs. And all of that feeds into Nexus, which is our AI product we rolled out last year. There's a V1. Um, what we wanted to do there was to be able to answer really high level questions that our existing search wasn't really capable of doing. So you see one example there. It's like, I'm hosting an event for fintech founders in SF. Who should I invite? That's you know, that would be great. You pull the fintech founders in SF, that's easy to do. What we did was a layer deeper and we were able to do reasoning. So just like a great chief of staff would do, we were able to say, okay, who are the people that I haven't seen in a while in SF that I want to invite to the dinner? And by the way, who would get along with each other at the dinner so that, you know, you don't have like weird, awkward silences. So that was our sort of V1 of Nexus. Um, and we do that across um, ChatGPT and our native uh, sort of uh, in-app experience. Um, you see a difference between sort of like clay data and not clay data as that's the clay GPT plugin or chat GPT plugin. Um, you just get a much more personalized response. So you get not only like who David and Mark are, but it knows like their entire work history and you get, oh, we like last met recently, or we talked about this thing. So it's pulling from my notes in clay. It's pulling from all of my experience in clay. Um, and again, we do this for just you as a prosumer. And then also for teams of people that are using this as their sort of a like, relationship with you. Um, we do that across hundreds of millions of contacts, one and a half billion different emails, calendars, text messages. That's all just, I'm trying to give context for like the data that's going into this very seemingly simplistic demo that I'm about to show on ChatGPT, which may not work. So uh, all of that to say, Nexus demo, um, ChatGPT was down earlier, as Danny mentioned, so it may not, uh, we'll find out. But um, the team was really excited by all the stuff that OpenAI AI announced last week with ChatGPT, um, the, the voice assistant, and then also uh, GPT-40. And so we wanted to put together something uh, like maybe bring a little bit of the future into the present. So we will find out if this works. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, can you see my screen? Cool. So this is my phone. It's here. Cool. Is Danny here? Cool. Okay, there we go. I'm going to take a photo of the audience. We will find out if this works. Cool. All right. Great. And it's going to have to speak. So I'm going to say like, go again, two handed typing. I'm at jams demo day. Okay. So we'll start there. And so it's going to go ahead and it's going to look at the photo and it's going to be like, oh, it looks like there's around 50 people here. Okay, cool. So now I'm going to switch into like voice assistant mode. Cool. And I'm going to do, do I know anyone here? It looks like Danny Grant is here. You know her. How do I know Danny? You first met Danny in 2014 at a founders meetup hosted at WeWork Nomad with Peter Boyce. When did we last talk to each other? You last emailed Danny in April 2023 in a group thread with the subject line, Stellation Dinner Party? Thank you. The last time you met in person was at an A16Z NY SAS Founders Dinner in March 2022. What's new with Danny? 
Ghani recently tweeted about Jam's new product launch, Jam for Azure DevOps. I'm going to pause there for two seconds. So this is pulling from the data that Clay has. It's all authenticated with my account, um, but it is pulling from Danny's LinkedIn and Twitter posts about Jam. So I'm going to keep going because I want to know a little bit more about that announcement. What's new with Jam? recently made significant strides with its latest product, Jam for Azure DevOps. This new launch aims to enhance internal bug reporting processes. In recent updates, Jam has focused on integrating Azure service connection features that improve secret expiration management and workload identity federation. Additionally, $10 million in a Series A funding round led by GGV Capital with participation from Figma Ventures. This capital will help further develop their product, which supports 75,000 users, catering to both individual and enterprise needs. Comment. You and Danny have 47 connections in common, including your co-founder Matt, Eric Torenberg, Devin Luton, and Dorian Dargan. Cool. I'm happy with that. So that is, again, means nothing to anybody here because that's not your data, but um, that is sort of us. And so if you use Clay, you can have a similar experience. Again, this is a new ChatGPT plugin that we are um, testing internally. The last part I wanted to show, though, um, and I'll exit out of the voice assistant mode so you can see that I was actually doing all that. Um, we have so many requests. I don't know if anybody here has a business card, but like so many people are like, oh, my God, I have a business card and I need I don't know what to do with them, whatever. And so very similarly, I can go into here and do something like, you know, take a photo. This is a person that I met at a WeWork earlier today. So I don't actually, any, if anybody else has a business card, feel free to give me one. Uh, add them to play. Cool. Hopefully this works. And then occasionally it'll re-ask for authentication. So we'll go do that, confirm, there you go. And it will add that to play. And it'll add a note about that I added that I met this person at Jam. And I can view the profile here. And it'll pull up his card. And there's the note. And it was just added. And this is all the information pulled up on him. And that's his uh, phone number from the business card. Um, so this is all like the private contact data that he's got from the business card. Um, but it is bringing in his like education work history. Um, from his LinkedIn. So uh, that is Clay. You can download the App Store, uh, Clay.Earth, um, and happy to take any questions.